One more thing I would like to point out here is that when you first time uh, set up your Flutter app in this code editor that is Visual Studio, it will ask you for the Flutter directory. This is only for the first time. So you need to point it to the bin directory of the Flutter setup directory. So suppose your setup directory is uh, Suppose your Flutter directory is here. So inside Flutter directory, there is a bin directory. There you can see the bin directory. And you need to point out Visual Studio to that bin directory. And from there, it will pick up the path and that path it will retain. So let's open the terminal. And here also, once again, we need to set up the path. So I will once again set up the path. I think it will be easier if I do it directly from here. Okay, so now our terminal in the code editor is also ready to take commands. I will go back to product views directory which is the directory of our project that we just created the flutter project and let me connect my mobile phone to the development uh, device that is the macbook so that i can run this uh, flutter app on the mobile phone Okay, so let me first run this existing app, the skeletal app that has been created by default. So to run the app, the command is flutter run. So you can see that it has detected my Android phone and now it's uh, compiling the app to run on my mobile phone. You can see the status here. And it shouldn't take much time because this is just a small skeletal app. So I will just uh, cut this part of video where it's compiling the app so that uh, we can save some time. You can see here that it's uh, going on. This is a type of activity indicator which is showing that the I think because uh, we're running the app for the first time so I think it's taking a bit of time. So it's showing that it took uh, 177.4 seconds. Okay, so this is our demo flutter app or the default app, which is basically a counter app. So we can just uh, try to see the code here and uh, let's discuss this little bit. So here you can see that everything starts inside a main function. Uh, this is something similar to Java, where also uh, we have a main function. Uh, if it if you have been coding in Blue Java, so everything starts in the main function, and uh, inside the main function there is a, a class declared, which extends a stateless widget. So widget is something that is you will see everywhere, and in flutter because it is the saying that everything is widget if you are, if you will go through the documentation or tutorial videos of flutter you will find uh, mostly uh, this thing that they say that everything is widget because flutter is uh, designed around uh, concept of oops and oops is also used in the style of widgets so using widgets are nothing but a type of class and uh, uh, every class is extended by uh, another parent class so as you can see here we have a stateless widget class uh, my app extends from the stateless widget class and there are other types of uh, widgets like uh, state widgets and uh, and this is a completely different topic in uh, react native we have a concept of states here also we have concepts of states uh, only thing is the way we use it is different so state is basically which holds our uh, uh, data or something uh, temporarily so 
if we want to hold something or data uh, then we will then we generally use state widgets and if like we don't want to use states then we use the stateless widget so here we have used stateless widget and inside there is constructor my app uh, again uh, inside it there is a build function which is again returning a widget so this material app is also a widget which is basically getting imported from uh, material dart package so here we can see the concept of packages also inside material app uh, there is title and theme basically which is being used in the app if we look into this app you can see there is a title bar and inside the, uh, below the title bar there is a body so basically the, the, this theme is the parent theme of what is being used in our skeletal app and uh, the color of swatches is defined here so and again uh, this material app uh, is using my home app and my home app is again uh, my home app extends from stateful widget app so uh, you can see that it, the, the saying of everything is widget is completely uh, applicable here because one widget is being extended by another widget and this hierarchy is i think uh, the design pattern that is being used is very important to understand in uh, flutter 